Hello my dear Sagittarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the month of July 2018 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I read for the signs in order of most liked videos, so don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for your sign. The reading can go both ways, so if I tell you that you are feeling or acting in a certain way, it can be in the reverse, that the person you are dealing with is feeling and acting in that way. The energy is the same, it's just different castings to the different roles by the universe. So for this reading, I will use the Druid Craft Tarot by Philip and Stephanie Carr Gome, illustrated by Will Worthington, and I will start shuffling your cards. So my dear Sagittarius, when I open your deck here, I see you, uh, Prince of Wands, that's Sagittarius, and the Seven of Swords. So it seems like you have something that worries you, or maybe you have kind of thoughts uh, haunting you a little bit. Uh, the Seven of Swords is sometimes also about being not uh, fully upfront with people, usually because you don't believe that you can be loved in the, loved in the way that you are, so you try to cover up maybe your flaws or, or the things that you don't like about yourself and, and tell a better story, okay? Uh, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the four of wands with the seven of swords. Uh, so the four of wands is about self-love. It's also the foundation of your life. It can be uh, your home, uh, your family, uh, whatever uh, makes you feel stable in your life. The Four of Wands is also a card for marriaging, uh, celebration, harvest feast, things like this. And here we have uh, this Seven of Swords. It's a little bit worrying card in this uh, situation because it seems like you feel that your foundation is threatened. Uh, maybe by somebody lie to you or maybe you feel you can't trust people in your closest environment. Um, it might be that you feel very suspicious even in the midst of your home. Uh, it can also be other explanations to the Seven of Swords. As I said, it's, it's kind of a card of a little bit of hopelessness. Like, I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. Uh, I will never be able to achieve this. I can as well. Uh, it's kind of giving up also. A person that rather gives up than, than aiming towards what they want and then finding themselves uh, failing uh, because the, uh, the failing itself feels so horrible. So then we don't try at all. But um, mostly it feels like you have uh, somebody close to home that you fully, you don't really fully trust them. And um, there's different reasons to why we don't trust people. But usually when we don't trust others, we might not really trust uh, ourselves as well. So we always need to uh, look at the person in the mirror first uh, uh, when we have a problem with another person. For example, um, if you think that another person is, is lazy, uh, it might be that you don't give yourself enough rest. Or um, if you think that someone is uh, sneaking around or playing hooky, it might be that um, you are afraid that other per people will see you like that. So, um, but uh, we'll see. We move on. Okay. So I called the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the three of wands with the four of wands. So it seems like you are rather determined anyway to keep your cool and your balance in a certain situation and to stay focused on uh, this what you want even if doubt is kind of uh, haunting you uh, in the back of your heels a little bit it's like it's crawling after you like this uh, but with the three of wands there's a lot of um, uh, confidence so either it's confidence because you have made a decision so it doesn't matter if you feel worried and don't trust in this or don't believe in it or feel that someone will fail you or betray you or disappoint you it's like it doesn't matter I want what I want anyway so I'm going to uh, to go towards this goal uh, regardless okay so it shows courage okay so even if you are doubting even if you have fears uh, it seems like you have made a clear decision and, and you're not going to budge 
okay so that's good brave great sagittarius it gives me some relief <laughs> okay so i call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear sagittarius viewers <laughs> Okay, Queen of Pentacles and Justice. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo, uh, Capricorn or Taurus. Uh, here we have also Libra. Uh, but uh, the Queen of Pentacles is um, uh, nature. And I feel it's very close to this with the uh, Four of Wands foundation. Uh, like we need uh, some foundation uh, foundational things like food, roof over head, uh, a little bit of income to keep ourselves uh, safe and, and balanced. So I'm thinking this card can also be about self-love and giving yourself justice, not giving yourself such a hard time and uh, letting bad thoughts haunting you. Uh, if you ha have things on your mind, uh, it can be always good to write them down and then feel the body afterwards because if we write them down we give them attention so we give our thoughts love and then we give also that love to our body because when we think worrisome thoughts uh, it's it's going to make our body a little bit stressed but when we stay with the body and give attention to the stress we feel we kind of calm it down and, and start to heal it so that is one thing I see. Another thing that's very important for you is to acknowledge the justice uh, and the truth. Uh, so even if you, um, you might have doubts on certain people and um, feeling like you don't trust them and so on. So look at the logic in the situation, not in your uh, worrying thoughts, but the actual logic. Uh, the best way to find the logic in a situation uh, and uh, uh, with a person that you might not uh, trust, for example, is to look at their actions, okay? Action speaks louder than words, but then you need to be ready also for the truth, uh, about that person. If you see that they are shady, they don't answer your questions, uh, uh, they don't explain themselves, uh, they, they don't tell you where they have been or where they are going to go or um, anything like this. It might be that, um, that you you need to understand that then if a person acts like that, there's a reason to it. Maybe the reason is that they want to be free and, and, um, and not deal with your worrying, but in that case, um, maybe they are not so respectful towards you. Okay, of course, if it's a teenager acting like this, well, we have the devil here in reversed. <laughs> I don't do reversed reversals in this deck, but okay. Uh, so if it's a teenager acting like this, it's only natural. But it's a grown person acting like this, uh, or a person on on the same level as as you, like not a really elderly person or a really really young person, uh, then uh, you should be able to ask for more of them. That they should uh, try to make you. Uh, not worry so much and explain more but for some of you there's actual jealousy in the bottom of it all and if we are jealous we want to be controlling and possessive and know everything that another person does and then uh, naturally they will pull away and tell us uh, lesser and lesser things so I think you need to check the what's actually going on here either maybe you are over controlling or another person is acting shady okay uh, so, uh, six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Sagittarius viewers. So, I want my dear Sagittarius to have love in their lives. <laughs> and, um, and here we have the princess of pentacles uh, with the justice card. Uh, so, I'm thinking that uh, you have a hard time to accepting yourself. Uh, so you are uh, you are questioning yourself and your own beliefs all the time. You are questioning your judgment. You are questioning what you say to different people, what you think about different people. It's like you're questioning any everything. And here with the Justice and the Prince of Pentacles, the Divine says, stop questioning yourself. Start trusting yourself. This is how you build your foundation. Um, even if uh, you are proved wrong later on, if you are, for example, suspicious that someone will betray you um, trust 
uh, that uh, trust this little entity because if you distrust yourself in this situation, you betray yourself. If you are suspicious, you have a reason to be suspicious. Either this suspicion is coming from what that person actually does or uh, from your own pain and hurt from the past. It doesn't matter. You need to give that uh, that little worrying um, like justice because it's like your inner child here uh, is saying, I'm worried. Uh, I see this. Uh, this is. Um, I have questions here. Why is this like this? And it's like you want to shush it, and you want to um, try to behave, uh, try to um, endure, try to not ask so many questions, try to just trust this person. But I think you really need to go to the bottom on this and and trust yourself. Start with trusting yourself. You don't have to take actions and go and say, okay, I trust myself. So now I know you have been lying or uh, cheating or talking smack talk behind my back. So it doesn't have to be like that. You just acknowledge, okay, uh, I see, I am very worried about this. I, it's coming back to me again and again, uh, this thing. And so I trust myself. And then you kind of let yourself explore this situation and see it uh, from a more logical and, and rational point of view. Uh, so you start like a detective and look at signs, not to be suspicious and trying to make someone else feel bad, but you just want to protect yourself. And this inner being here wants to be accepted and listened to and protected. And that's your job. Uh, to see to uh, that you are protected. This might, of course, also be a child in your life that needs your protection and need you to stay on their side, to take their part of something, to understand them. It's so, so um, important that we can uh, stand behind uh, our loved ones and, and make them stronger and being their backbone instead of always questioning them, always questioning their motives. Uh, things like this. So I understand that it's a little bit like uh, on one hand I say that you should trust people and on the other hand I say that you should uh, be suspicious but you shouldn't be neither. Whatever you are in your core go with that. Investigate that. Trust that because even if it's uh, even if it's something that you have made up in your mind, it's still pointing to a, a wound within you uh, that you have been betrayed in the past. So the, the traces are going back to that time when you were hurt and, and you will be able to heal that. And then you won't maybe be a control freak in your relationships anymore. Uh, or if you have the other uh, issue that someone is trying to control you, for example, you won't be bothered in the future. You will say, yes, I was uh, with my friend and then we took some coffee. And after that, um, yes, you will be able to explain yourself and even bore the other person to death. And it, it, it won't touch you because you are not uh, attached to the wound anymore. Okay, I hope I made this clear, but the cars is jumping and they really want me to <laughs> explain this to you. Oh, uh, so a princess of cups, you need to trust your emotions, okay? Um, don't disregard them, okay? Uh, trust them, even if they are um, telling you, talking about dreams and hopes that's not realistic, uh, or talking about emotions that you feel that you shouldn't really have, uh, still go with this. Uh, it's, it's like your beacon uh, in the night out on the big sea okay so you need to go with this because this is the only lead you will get from your uh, inner children like um, the natural you uh, your emotions your thoughts uh, your longings all these kind of things is the only um, little map you have in this world where you come and and you you kind of don't know anything you don't know how uh, this and this you are going to do is going to have like a butterfly effect and create things in your life but you need to trust uh, this because this is the kind of the only map you will get it's kind of the divine is talking to you to you through your um, your inner children so you need to start to build harmony in your own little family like inside of you and then this will spread also to um, <laughs> to the relationship on the outside of you okay 
so I hope we won't be more interrupted anymore. Okay, so I want my dear Sagittarius to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and be able to walk on your high spot towards your highest destiny. So the two pages that came was the two feminine pages, so the most vulnerable of the pages, uh, the ones that uh, held, holds a real depth, okay, and real mystery and are, are really fragile. So they are wise beyond um, understanding, uh, but they are also fragile. It's like... Uh, uh, you are more fragile than you can understand. It's like you are a jellyfish in an ocean and, and you are so vulnerable. And you need to understand this, that also small things can hurt you into the core. And you need to be more aware, just uh, like reg <laughs> register what is happening to you. See things like with justice, see things uh, with truth and logic and reason on your situations. And that will help you to accept yourself and stand by yourself, but also accept and stand by others. Okay, so uh, I will just tune in here for a few seconds. Okay, so my dear Sagittarius, this is your future and this is your now and this is your past. So I'm going to do a nine card spread. I usually do a 15, but I'm trying to make these readings a little bit shorter, uh, partly for you that it should be more digestible, but also because I need to um, take, uh, take a little bit more rest during the summer. I have other things to do, other responsibilities. So if you want the longer readings, uh, say so, and they will come back this fall. But if you like this form, uh, I will continue with this or maybe do some other uh, interesting spread. Okay. So here in the past, we have a Queen of Cups. So it might be that some of you have been dealing with a Cancer, uh, a Scorpio or a Pisces person. But the Queen of Cups means uh, your emotions. So it seems like you have been uh, on, you have been very, have a very keen intuition lately. Okay, your intuition has been sharp. Okay, and you need to honor that. You can't disregard it. Uh, and here is in the now and here we have a four of pentacles. So it might be that someone is keeping secrets for, from you uh, and, and you are feeling it. It's like you, uh, okay, there comes a song. I've heard it to the grape wine. Um, okay, I will put it in the description box for you. Um, it's a little bit of a sad song actually, but it's, it's just your feelings. It doesn't have to be true, but you need to go to the bottom of these feelings. Yes, you see the world card here. It's like um, the knots needs to be tied together. No loose ends, okay? You need to see things clearly. It's like you, you are, will take a master's degree and you need to study very hard for the ac examiner. And the examiner is probably for you to listen to your uh, keen intuition. Uh, so it might be that we have a person acting secretly here because you are supposed to end um, um, eons long karma in your life to learn to finally trust yourself. Uh, so they are doing you the honors of keeping secrets so that you can start to trust yourself and, and um, trust your own instincts. So that's the real sacrifice. Okay, and this is your past. And here we have the Queen of Swords. So Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is uh, usually Libra. We also have the Justice card. Uh, so Queen of Swords is kind of a human rights lawyer. And, and the Justice is, of course, like a courtroom. Um, Queen of Swords can also be an Aquarius or a Gemini or any kind of person that kind of needs to... Ha needs to have a very clear sense of mind. So with these two cards, you are kind of becoming the Oracle of Delphi. But we can see that these two women have their back turned against each other. So it might be that you are feeling that these two entities inside of you are enemies, that this is your thoughts and this is your emotion and, and they are not uh, compatible, but they are because neither your thoughts or your emotion are logic or, or reason. But when you add these two together, you get both logic and reason because um, emotions are usually coming from your subconscious. It's like your main computer has 
has been your hard drive has been calculating something and it pops up like uh, answers that's already ready like you get a feeling this is not good i or you get a shill through your whole body like a warning because your subconscious have calculated that they need to send you a warning in this situation uh, and and the the thoughts might be like feeling high and mighty and, and feeling like they are better than the the feelings but they aren't because the thoughts only have like your your awakened memory the memory that kind of keeps your um, your computer screen so it's not more than that it has no depths uh, so these two together is like the true brain trust what can really make you to a real good detective or a person that are able to see the truth about things but currently they seem to not really work together because maybe you can't accept yourself or your own feelings or uh, or, or your own thoughts you might be feeling that your thoughts is judgmental and jumping into conclusion and things like this just give it attention write it down it doesn't have to be the truth it just leads you towards the truth eventually okay uh, and here we have the three of cups so the three of cups is a really good card it's about the holy trinity it's kind of uh, mother father <laughs> child uh, but here it's like a band of brothers uh, this can be a good thing if you are included in this band of brothers and everyone knows about each other. But if if you are on the outside, uh, like the Queen of Swords here, she doesn't seem to be on a party mood. Uh, you might feel like this is a little bit threatening that these people have a fun time and I, I'm not included. But I try to endure. I try to... Uh, kind of not care that I'm not included so it's a little bit the feelings I'm getting here but three of cups is a very good card for the people that's in this situation they feel a lot of happiness overflowing emotions joy they might forget about the time might forget to check the clock uh, might forget to call home things like this because there's so much fun uh, to go around and here we have an ace of wands so Ace of Wands is a very strong energy, so it might be strong lust, strong passion, but also uh, new ideas, longing, ignition. Uh, so uh, the Ace of Wands in this is actually making me uh, feel a little bit worried. Uh, so because this kind of passion again is very nice to have if you are the one with this passion it's light-hearted it's fun uh, you go with this and you don't think about tomorrow uh, but for the one again that's on the outside uh, this might not be a happy occasion because they were not on on this happy train uh, so I'm not saying that this person is jealous even if it can be like this uh, it's more like um, uh, the different viewpoints on a situation if uh, you are uh, on a party for example and you have a fun time and and you know that nothing peculiar is happening and you are not betraying anyone but you forget to check in with with the household okay you forget to call your husband or your wife or your partner and, and um, the explaining that you need to do the next day or when the person says no I don't care what you do did I would have wished that you would call but you didn't so uh, there's no no big thing but really there's a big thing we can see this on her whole posture it's a big thing okay uh, so it's just I, I'm not saying that anyone did something wrong here I'm just trying to explain these different people's feelings in this situation and um well, uh, this person can, of course, interpret this situation as um, that this person did something that they didn't want to share. So they couldn't call you because they were preoccupied with their mistress or something else. But and of course, there can be a mistress here. It's two queens, but it feels like these queens are um, are a team. It's like two different sides to you. And this might be like the situation that is going on but you are not a part of it but of course this can be uh, two uh, women or also two males uh, not knowing about each other they have their back turned they don't know about each other it can be this too i'm not saying that people are unfaithful but i'm feeling like uh, sagittarius is suspicious or someone is suspicious of sagittarius it doesn't mean that there's actually some betrayal going on but the suspicious is going on that is fairly clear in this reading okay uh, so um, 
uh, the now, okay, and here we have a two of swords, and that's Libra again. So I'm thinking the queen of swords uh, in some way feels um, disrespected, and when you disrespect uh, a person like this, uh, they are going to um, they are going to give you um, consequence, okay. And here the consequence looks like silent treatment. It might be also that this person is thinking of. Uh, Okay, where to go na next? What would be the best way to do, uh, to act from now? And how can I restore maybe my dignity? Uh, so I'm thinking this person is getting more and more cold, uh, taking more and more distance, uh, feeling like they have been uh, rejected. It's almost like a little bit martyrdom here, like a person that feels rejected, but they can't maybe admit to it because this is not, neither of these cards are very conversational. Uh, so it might be someone feeling very unjustly treated, but not saying it's just you can see this in their posture or they say, no, it's fine. It's OK. No, I'm not angry. And you know that, well, <laughs> um, uh, whenever you get this person to talk uh, and the sooner the better so you can sort this out. But for now, they are not going to talk with you because um, uh, they haven't really sorted this out for themselves. They feel um, that they don't have the right to have these feelings maybe, but they also feel uh, unjustly treated. Uh, so they are kind of torn inside themselves. Should I trust my feelings? Should I trust my thoughts? Should I trust this? Should I trust this? Um, what they should really do is say, yes, I was really hurt by you not calling me back uh, when you promised. Uh, and... Um, uh, I was worried and I thought maybe you have forgotten about me, but that would leave them open uh, for the other person to maybe hurt them and say, well, you are so drama queen or um, you always want to control me and uh, I can't have any fun. <laughs> so, but still, uh, we need to be a little bit more uh, communicative about what we feel and that's at least at least admit to yourself how you're feeling if you are this queen here uh, that I feel uh, I feel unjustly treated and I feel like betrayed or that people didn't uh, respect me enough and didn't follow through on their promises or whatever this might be it doesn't have to be a party it can be any kind of situation I'm just saying the most obvious since we have a party there uh, and in the central of the reading, we have Sir Nuno's. So that kind of gives away that there might have been some indiscretion. Um, I don't want to scare you. I don't want to freak you out. I don't want you to start uh, suspect, uh, susp <laughs> having suspicion about something that's, uh, that's nothing. Okay. But I need to explain to you what the card means. So the devil is, is like the bad side of a romance. 15, one plus five is six. It's a lover's card, but this is the bad side with jealousy, betrayal, uh, people trying to control the other codependent relationships. Uh, so it's some kind of, um, imbalance in this relationship. Maybe we are not looking out for each other um, like in a good way and therefore people uh, feel left out in the cold or betrayed or maybe you forget about each other or take each other for granted and and, and therefore it becomes like this. It's like a lopsided uh, relationship and it might be someone having problems also with alcohol, partying, not taking responsibility, being rebellious, always having fun, uh, maybe leaving all the responsibility and the not so fun things uh, to their partner and, and making them like the person that are always so boring and never wants to do any fun while this person is taking uh, like um, <laughs> patent on all the fun. It's like this person gets to have all the fun. And, and so it's a little bit unjust to be honest. Okay. And here we have the six of pentacles and it just kind of confirms what I just said uh, that uh, usually when this card comes, we always need to look at the balance in the relationship are both allowed to go out and have fun, are both allowed uh, to uh, have freedom, are both allowed to, are both required to take responsibility, are both taking responsibility, are both uh, like putting in the same effort in the relationship. Uh, Six of Pentacles can also sometimes be, be uh, 
um, like these relationships that's so popular, friends with benefits kind of thing, where people get hurt, but uh, the person that hurts them uh, doesn't have to have a bad consciousness about it. And also that people kind of just use each other. And sometimes it's it's fine if people have the same... Uh, <laughs> uh, the same mindset, but here um, it's, it's they don't have the same mindset. Maybe these people that met on this party has the same mindset, but um, but this person doesn't. Okay, uh, so uh, it's a little bit unjust. And someone is uh, keeping secret, keeping someone out a little bit, not admitting to things, and b acting a little bit shady. So there's reason to see this situation very clear and 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 um, be aware when a person is uh, acting secretive or having secrets it's not because you can't stop like things that happened in the past from not happening it happened but um lies hurt betrayal hurts even if it's not like it doesn't come to the person's knowledge it's still hurting because in the subconscious the person already knows um, it's therefore it's still painful even if the person doesn't admit to feeling the pain or doesn't want to feel those emotion or think ah I shouldn't be so such a control freak and of course nothing happened and um, but also we need to look at this from the other point of view that we don't own a person whatever they do when they are not with us um, it's like they are their own soul in their own universe you can't control everything uh, but it's certain things like lying and um, lying and not standing up for what you did and uh, and betraying like um, a love between two people or or um, a trust uh, that is um, uh, we don't own each other but if we want to uh, be ourselves and do our own thing we need to at least say it to this person and not let them be like um, living in the not knowing while you know so okay um I think I said everything about that. So here is the future and we have an ace of cups. So love seems to still be there. Uh, love dies hard and uh, the ace of cups is the pure source. It's this uh, subconscious vast uh, hard drive I was talking about. It's also the kind of connection into the divine. It can stick it in like this and it's connected to the divine. It's like an umbilical cord going back to the divine. So it's also your intuition again. It's the Queen of Cups, what she holds in her hand here with the moon. But here's the source. So it's just different um, symbols of the same thing. We have the moon also there. Um, here it goes deep into the ocean, the subconscious. And here we see the subconscious on the sky. It's still the same subconscious. Okay. And here we have a Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like uh, uh, the stability is still there. The relationship is still there. The friendship is still there. The family is still there. Uh, it's just that something happened that uh, made people distrust each other uh, a little bit. Okay, but the love is strong. Uh, the foundation is hopefully strong. Ten of Pentacles can sometimes be like the 21 world card. Um, all good also all good things comes to an ending uh, so sometimes it's a 10 so it's kind of the last card and then it starts on, again from the aces so it, it might be an ending of some sort but what I feel here is like that the foundation is still there it's just that people need to learn how to act more truthful to each other and also I'm thinking that this is like a test for you to use your intuition better uh, to trust your intuition better it doesn't have to be like betrayal or uh, infidelity or whatever uh, it can just be that um, <laughs> it's like a fire drill to check your intuition okay and here we have the two of cups uh, so the two of cups kind of says again also that the love is still there so it seems like the relationship or the situation holds um, it doesn't have to be like a love relationship. This can be going on at work, like someone being suspicious because one is getting all the attention from the boss and one is being left out in the cold. Uh, but maybe it was all a misunderstanding because here the cards comes together and paints a very beautiful picture 
uh, of the future and the world card. Uh, so I will uh, read Sir Nuno's for you. It's the central card of the reading. So it's the most important card. Uh, and it's like I said, it's different aspects to this. Either you are too suspicious or you're not as suspicious at all. Uh, you and, and my, Maybe you are trusting your your suspicion too much or not listening to it. So it's some kind of like either or here. Uh, here we see an image of Sir Nunos, the lord of the animals, the wild herdsman and hunter. Before him the two lovers sleep as the sun sets. This card represents the raw power of the instincts and of nature and also the dangers of delusions and excess. Uh, but offers the potential for achieving both freedom and abundance. So it's kind of this energy what I talked about when you are in a party and everything seems possible and there's no consequences and no tomorrow. So it's just happiness and, and fun and you laugh too high, you talk too much and, and, um, and you might live to regret it, okay? Uh, it teaches us how to live effect effect. <laughs> effectively in the material world without becoming trapped by the glamour and illusions offered by a world obsessed with wealth, status, sexuality and violence. Uh, the card points to the dangerous overindulgence of being obsessive, greedy and abusive and yet it also hints at enormous power that is available to us if we can free ourselves uh, of the thrall of the material and sensual world and yet still live both fully and creatively within it. So nature and is it's is a reason to why people lose themselves to uh, to their natural self and to joy and fun because it is joy and fun and you finally feel accepted for who you are. Uh, so it's not something bad uh, to go on a party and have fun, uh, and it's not bad to forget about time and space. Maybe it was exactly what's needed for this person to learn to deal with. Uh, issues of control and being suspicious. Uh, so uh, there's no good and bad here, really. Uh, the Sununas figure stands as a guardian of this knowledge and of the powers of Nymphere, the life force. And in one aspect, he is the male version of the female figure in the death card. He's uh, lord of the underworld as Gwyn Ap Nud, uh, who leads the wild hunt and who is responsible for culling in order to preserve the species. So he represents fierceness and the power of life and hence sexuality, but also death. Uh, so uh, someone is being like um, allured <laughs> by uh, happiness and fun and uh, those light-hearted experience and someone else is very serious and um, these two entities kind of clash in some kind of injustice that needs to be balanced but if you are able to balance this injustice uh, there seems that there's enough love to go around for 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 everyone okay <laughs> one two three of cups uh, so no one have to be the outsider everyone can have fun and and no one needs to be left out in the cold okay so if you also feel like you have forgotten to invite in someone to a party or um, if you feel like you haven't talked to someone for a while maybe it's time to reach out because they might start to become very suspicious of you and thinking that maybe you don't care anymore or you don't love them anymore or you don't um, that you are have like blown off the radar okay so I will also take a card for you from the Sacred Rebels uh, to maybe find um, a card that will clear out what it is that's going on against the grain. So number four, three and four. Birds underwater. Uh, you want birds to be able to fly underwater. You want love to trump power. You want humanity to relate to each other as equals and to recognize the sad, uh, sacredness in you and in the world around you. You want to unleash the beauty that hides in even the ugliest or senses of senses or sentiments. You, you want to make possible what others say cannot be. You are a radical dreamer, a sacred rebel, and you bring the light of a more positive future to this world. 
um, it's underwater. It's a song. So um, if I remember it, I will put it in the des description box for you. Um, yes, you are a radical dreamer, a sacred rebel, and you bring the light of a more positive future to this world. However, this can have its burdens deep within you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world. Perhaps your sense of how things can be and how they really are is so different to the smaller minds or more fearful hearts of many others that you are rarely received for all that you offer. This might make you feel frustrated, thwarted or lonely at times. So this is kind of speaking of the person that had been on the party, that this person that wants life to be more lighthearted and fun and, and to uh, be able to do crazy things and live life fully and that it might feel like uh, people are so fearful and wants to keep control and, and, and wants to keep you in your box. And I have just explained why they feel like this, <laughs> okay? Um, maybe if you just take more responsibility uh, for things, uh, they will also give you more of your freedom. Because if one is free, the other person is probably not. Because they need to do everything that the free person doesn't mind doing, doesn't do, okay? <laughs> um, yes, the universe uh, so loves you for your unusual take on things, for the quirkiness in you that dares to honor that which is different and renders the impossible possible. You must never ever lose your unusual ways and become dry, serious, appropriate and conventional, not even for appearance sake, for you would lose your essence. You are here to show that life is about so much more than conventional success. Uh, yes, okay. Um, you are some, uh, this oracle comes with a special message for you, 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 you are someone who lives and breathes in the depths of creative waters. Okay. Uh, so don't lose that, but also, uh, remember that if someone, um, seems grumpy over this, it's because you haven't let them in on the fun. Okay. Uh, so my dear, uh, Sagittarius, I hope this helped. I wanted to take really, really good care. And I also want to say how grateful I am for all you that uh, are watching, liking, subscribing and commenting to my videos. Um, there's no end to my gratitude. Okay. Uh, so take real good care and have a real nice summer. Okay. Bye bye.